Fruit is helping me water. Fill the water fountain. Water the plants. <laughs> he loves the water. What do you do when you process 19 meat birds? Well, you take your scraps that you froze all this time and the bones and you make bone broth this is gonna take a while it's a huge huge pot hey y'all it's time it's canning time again well for me okay i've been really busy i'm canning cucumbers okra onion garlic and dill I made my brine. I've checked my lids and my rings. These are no bueno. So, everything's all together. I didn't show how I did it. I just, honestly, uh, two cups of vinegar, two cups of water, a half cup of canning salt, bring it to a boil and I salted and rinsed, well, salted my cucumbers overnight and rinsed them extremely well. Oops, I misspoke. Four cups of water, four cups of vinegar, and I used about three quarters of a teaspoon of pickling spice in the jar after I loaded it. Um, so there's my correction. So what we do is we put the pickling salt on, I just slice the pickles for hamburger dills, put the pickling salt on there, soak them overnight, and then rinsed and rinsed and rinsed them off. Uh, because You don't want that salt on your pickles. And it'll extract the liquid out of them. Okay, so, chore number 4,899 completed. And uh, I am so excited to be able to can again our fruits, our fruits. Eh, some of them might be called fruits. Our vegetables. I uh, don't like all the dishes. <laughs> I don't use my dishwasher, so that's why. <laughs> but it is a, a good feeling to be canning again. What are y'all canning? Probably everything like me. We, um, we've had a great harvest. So far, I think I combated and conquered the uh, an, uh, tomato end rot. I slammed it with a five gallon bucket of diluted blood from the chicken butchering. And, uh, how do you like that? And poured that on the garden and then we got some calcium nitrate from Haas Tools and I put that on there and in addition to that I put more calcium before that so it should be good on calcium nitrate I don't see any more signs of the uh, rot um, I did pull quite a few of my tomatoes out of the front bed because there were just honestly too many. 
Anyway, just an update. I've got bone broth going that I've got to get back on the stove. And uh, I'm waiting for this to come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes, shut it off, pull it out, put it on a towel, and wait for that beautiful pot. Y'all be blessed and love well. Bye now. There they are. Now we wait for the pot. Oh, that's gonna be so good, so good. Yummy.